This is the life, influence, and research of Dr. Gianna Epps. Born in 1970 in Syracuse, New York, Epps pursued her Master of Science and PhD in Aerospace Engineering at the University of Maryland. Throughout her enrollment at the university, she was awarded a NASA GRSP fellowship that continued her journey, publishing several academical works that have had pr high praise. Most of her more recognized work was in the area of materials engineering. After graduating, she had worked at Ford Motor Company, Central Intelligence Agency, and seven years with the CIA with a couple deployments in Iraq. Dr. Epps was then nominated as a candidate for the 20th class of NASA astronauts in 2009. She became qualified two years later. For her training, she has done an extensive Russian spacewalk, robotics training, competed in T-38 jet training, and has attended the National Outdoor Leadership School. It was announced in the beginning of 2017 that Epps will take the role as the flight engineer to the International Space Station in 2018. This would make her the first African-American space station crew member. In January 2018, a couple months before the launch, NASA announced that Epps is going to be replaced by a backup. <coughs> it was also in a scenario where NASA would not give details on why she was extracted. Epps later had announced that she had no medical conditions or family issues that, and that all the training went well. A couple days before that, however, Epps' brother, Henry, had made a post on Facebook saying, my sister, Dr. Gianna Epps, has been fighting against oppressive racism and misogyny uh, in NASA, and now they are holding her back and allowing a Caucasian astronaut to take her place. Dr. Gianna Epps gave people a glimpse of modern-day racism, although she, she also influenced many Afri other African Americans, as well as females, to fight for equality and always chase their dreams. How do you feel about the situation, and what do, what do you think was the reason for her extraction? This, or, these are pictures of Dr. Gina Epps, and these are my citations.